guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday, and Wednesday is my busiest day of the week, and I was totally not planning on filming anything today, but I just got home from work, and in my mailbox, there was a little bit of Shop Disney magic. In this package is my Park Pack 3.0 Disney Limited Edition pin subscription for the month of, I think this is the January subscription. So I'm gonna unbox this for you guys quickly and get this uploaded as soon as possible. And as a bonus, I also received some really fun pin mail from a friend and subscriber of mine yesterday, so I want to show you what I got um, in this fun package as well. So I'm going to start with my Disney Park Pack. If you haven't heard of this, this is a monthly subscription. It's $50 a month, and they send you three limited edition pins. They're very nice pins. They're typically themed to one specific Disney movie. And I've heard some spoilers that this month's theme is Fantasia. That's the, the movie of the month, so I think they're all going to be Fantasia-themed pins. All right, so let me take this box out of the package and it usually comes in this little white sleeve and then you slide it out and inside there is the park pack box and I'm looking at this box and there's some damage on the um, bottom corner which is a little bit annoying like I feel like they could get it together a little bit with their shipping because some people like to have the box in good shape and I'm not necessarily one of those people but this is just it's kind of disappointing that it would get all banged up like this anyway I'm gonna open this up and see See what Fantasia pins I got in mine. Ooh, wow, these are pretty. So first impression is very good. One thing I should mention about this box is every single pin is limited edition of 500. However, there are six variations of each pin. So the colors will be different, or with the middle pin, the framed pin, the picture that's actually inside of the frame will vary. So even though they're all LE 500, there are similar pins floating around, presumably 3,000 um, of each pin design, but just slightly different, if that makes sense. So here is a first impression look at the three pins that I received this month. I am a big fan of classical music. My husband is a classical musician, so Fantasia is a movie that I really enjoy, and I'm excited to get these pins. I'm going to take each of these off of their backing and give you a slightly closer look. So this first one is a really pretty pin on pin design of the dancing hippo and the dancing alligator or I guess maybe crocodile. Um, so they are having a good time. This is variation number two of six according to the back of this pin. Just so you can see this is what the back of it looks like. There are two pin backs on each of these pins in this subscription. And I like this. This is kind of an iconic Disney scene and the quality is very high. I really like the pin on pin aspect of this one. The second pin is my favorite of the bunch. It's got a beautiful frame design. There's Chernabog up here in the corner. There's a little fawn um, over here. And the picture in the center is what varies with this pin. And the picture in this one is the sorcerer from The Sorcerer's Apprentice, which is kind of an iconic Disney cartoon, part of Fantasia. And here's a fun fact. I believe the sorcerer's name is Yensid, which is actually Disney spelled backwards. And here's a quick look at the back of this one. This is pin variation six of six for the framed pin. And this third pin of the bunch is also gorgeous. It is Sorcerer Mickey from the Sorcerer's Apprentice piece of Fantasia. Totally iconic scene both in the film and in the Disney theme parks and the Fantasmic show. I really like this one. I love the stained glass element. It's this kind of pinky purple shade here. And here's a peek at the back, and this is variation number three of six. I really like all three pins that came in this month's park pack. I'm not a Fantasia collector, but I am a fan of the film, and like I said, I love classical music, so I might just be hanging on to these ones for my own personal collection. One of the great things about this subscription is because all of the pins are limited edition, even if you don't love the pins enough to keep them in your own collection, they typically make pretty good traders online, so you might be able to trade your pins away for some other limited edition pin that you really want to add to your collection. If you're interested in learning more about Park Pack 3.0, I will leave a link to that website down below. It's through Shop Disney, but I'll leave a link to the actual subscription listing. And now I'll move on to this very fun package that came in yesterday from one of my friends and subscribers, Ashley in Florida. Hi, Ashley, if you're watching. As you know, I am a really big fan of Snow White. I collect Snow White pins, and it is currently the Snow White 80th anniversary, so many beautiful Snow White pins have been released lately. And the ones in here just came out in the Disney World and Disneyland parks, and since I couldn't get down to the parks uh, in the last couple of months, I asked Ashley if she would kindly pick these up for me. So she did, and I want to show you which ones I got. 
You guys, when I opened this package and saw these pins, I almost screamed because they are so beautiful and they're actually quite a bit bigger than I thought they would be. So here is the first one. I love the, the card backing. I'm definitely keeping these cards, but it is Snow White on her horse with her prince and it is a slider. So Snow White and the horse and the prince all slide over to reveal the castle and the text that says, and they lived happily ever after. Such a pretty pin. Here's a look at the back. It's limited edition of 2000, and I love that there is the Snow White apple with an 80 uh, etched in the middle of it for the 80th anniversary. Next up is this pin, which might be my favorite of the bunch. It features the old hag, and she's got the poisoned apple. This is also a slider pin, and the hag slides over to reveal Snow White in the window of a cottage baking a pie, and the text says, one bite of the poisoned apple, and the victim's eyes will close forever. Super awesome pin. I love this scene so much. This pin is also limited edition of 2000, and there's that apple with the 80th anniversary in the middle on the back of this one as well. For being very large pins, I'm kind of surprised there's only one um, pin post, but that's okay. And here is the third Snow White 80th anniversary that Ashley picked up for me. This one is also super gorgeous. It's got like a diamond shape and all of the seven dwarves heads around the edges. It says Walt Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarves 80th anniversary. And this one is actually a hinge pin and it opens up to reveal Snow White embracing her prince and there's a shape of an apple on the inside. So there's the red around the edges and the green kind of little leaves on the top. And then on the top, and this is so badass and awesome, there is the evil queen. So this pin is really cool. I'm really impressed with these Snow White 80th anniversary pins that Disney came out with. And here's the back of this one. It is also limited edition of 2000, but it is conspicuously missing the 80th anniversary apple. So I don't know what's up with that, but still a really gorgeous pin. Ashley was also kind enough to include this Snow White Hidden Mickey from her personal collection. I did not have this one, so I'm very happy to add this to my Snow White collection. So thank you so much, Ashley, for the gift. And as if that wasn't enough, Ashley also picked up this Bambi 75th anniversary pin for me because she thought I would like it, and she was totally right. I did not have this in my collection, but it is Bambi's mom and little baby Bambi surrounded by all of the birds of the forest. And I love birds and I love Disney animals and I talk about that all the time, but I just have to say it again, Disney animals are my heart. And then this is a hinge pin and it opens up to reveal more Disney animals, some bunnies and a raccoon and another little bird up here. So it's a beautiful forest scene. This is going to be stunning for one of my spring Disney pin boards and I'm just so happy to have this. And again, this was a gift from Ashley. She totally did not have to send me this, so I'm really grateful and super surprised, and um, wow, just thanks so much. Here's a peek at the back of this one. It is limited edition of 3000, and there is actually a Bambi, let's see if you can see it, a 75th anniversary diamond uh, logo in the back. And interestingly, this one actually has two pin backs, even though it's smaller by quite a bit than the Snow White one. So go figure, I don't know. And also just because I love cute animals, this is the Christmas card that Ashley sent with this package. It's got a bunch of cute little kittens on it and I just love it. So yay and thank you again. All right all, that's it for today's little pin mail haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing this month's Park Pack 3.0 as well as the beautiful Snow White pins that Ashley sent to me. Leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite pin from this video is. I'm always just curious to hear what other people's pin preferences are because I'm a big dork like that. Um, if you like Disney pins, Disney unboxings, Disney content, and you haven't subscribed yet, you might want to hit that subscribe button and stick around. And I'll be back very soon, like most likely tomorrow, with more Disney content for you. Until then, have a magical day, and I'll see you real soon. Bye, guys!